Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware, it's Steven Taylor. We're inside one of our thousand horsepower units, one of our new ones that we're actually uh, test firing. Yep. Um, actually, last time we shot this, we were down low. It's yeah. getting hard on our knees, getting yeah. a little bit old, aren't we? I'm getting too old for this stuff, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what we'd like to talk about today is uh, just gas trains and just the difference in maybe some, uh, maybe some other people that are putting things in trailers, how we do it, um, why it's good for yeah. uh, the customer. So yeah. why don't you go through that? Yeah, we. If this is a Siemens uh, combination uh, gas valve regulator um, put together and we went to this, we've done a lot of design work in these units because we're stuffing a lot of stuff in a small package. Right. So we've done a lot of design work to, to make this accessible and as convenient for the technician, the maintenance guy, the operator as possible. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed in, in some of the other designs out there is that, you know, your typical bore, the fuel train's down beside the bore. That they're always right right down beside the bore. Well, you put that down beside the border on this one, you can't get back that hole to work on it. So what some of the other guys are doing is putting side doors on their containers, trailers, whatever they put them in, so that the technician, when he need, he's in there working on the border or starting it up, testing what he's, whatever he's doing, in order to check the fuel train, he's got to go down the steps outside, open the doors, check on that whatever he's whatever he's checking on, mm -hmm. check to make sure the valves are open, they're closed, and the proof of closure are open, whatever he's doing, come back in here, work on the burner, go back back and forth. And and for me, it's it's like your your existing boiler room. Would you have your fuel train in a separate room from the burner? Mm -hmm. No, it's yeah. completely inconvenient. It's it's just from a safety standpoint, it doesn't make any sense to me. If I'm testing this fuel train, I want to be close to the burner where I can shut things off. If there's any type of problem, I want to be able to shut it off. Sure. If if you if you have the fuel train out there, it's going to take two guys to do it, right. or you just wing it and run back and forth. Right. So we've done a lot of work. You know, make a long story short, make a, done a lot of work to put these fuel trains right here. Control panels here, on off switch, everything is here. He can see what's going on. We've got gauges, he sees all his pressures. Everything that's going on is right here in front of him. It, it just, for me, it just makes a lot of sense to put the things here where the, where the technician is working, where he has his hands on it, eyes on it all the time. Right, now I said gas train, but we obviously should have said fuel trains because we have oil as well. So we same need to way. take a look over take here. Take a look at the fuel the oil train, do it the same way. Okay. All right, so we moved over to the uh, fuel train and we have the fuel train. We obviously have the pump as well. So maybe go through that for us, Steve. Same, same thing, same concept. I want the oil valves and the controller, everything right here where the technician can work on it. He can do adjustments, he check his pressures, he can check switches, all of it while the burner's running, while he's got a close hand to the controls. So that, and for the most part, this is really critical during the initial startup. Uh, but if you go to a job site, it's been on gas on one job, you go to the next one's on oil, it's, an, it's a startup all over again. You gotta sure. reset it all over again. Auto flame helps it, but you still have to check everything again. So uh, again, you, you wanna make sure you have this stuff, from my standpoint, as close as possible to make this thing as safe as it can be for the startup technician. And then the operating guys, the maintenance guys, when they're coming in to check on stuff, if they have an issue, they can see right off the bat, okay, I've got pressure here, I don't have pressure here. Whatever, whatever issues are, it's right there in front of them. They're not running out to the side of the trailer, running back in, checking the burner, running back out. Just That just doesn't seem like a safe operating system to me. Right. It just doesn't. So it just made it a lot simpler. A lot simpler, a lot just a lot more convenient for the technician. Sure. The, the, the operators, the maintenance guys, just, just a lot easier for them to, to work on. Now, I'm noticing that and even over on the gas train, maybe just for our, our folks that are watching, that are learning, there's two valves here, and yeah. on the gas we have kind of the same thing through that same Siemens. Thing. What what is that for? It, it's a double double block and uh, bleed on the gas, and that's a code issue. Mm -hmm. We have two valves where you're not dependent on one valve to hold that gas pressure back when the burner's in an off cycle. We have gas could leak through there if that valve is open. Mm -hmm. You have two valves. Make sure both of them are closed. They also have proof of closure switches on them. So when that valve closes, it makes a switch. So if something happens, it hangs up and doesn't make that switch, it sends an alarm out and it won't allow the burner to restart until that switch is made to make sure, it's called a proof of closure switch, to make sure that valve is closed, we don't have gas leaking through there. Oh, we don't We don't have a, we've got proof of closure switches, we have two valves, it's the same thing, we just don't have a bleed between them. Right. On the gas side, you gotta bleed sure, between you gotta them. Bleed it. No place to bleed the oil, so 
uh, but, but again, you have two valves for the same reason, so we're not depending on one actuator, one valve to keep that oil from going in there during the off cycle. Now, code is really the issue for gas. I mean, what about for same oil? Same thing for oil. It's yeah. the same thing. It's a code issue. It's a CSD1 issue. Mm -hmm. And we make sure all this stuff meets the latest codes that are out there on the market. Sure. But I wanted to make sure that we gave them something to learn, yeah. not just talking about our rentals, right. obviously, but uh, but certainly wanted to make sure we, we, we covered that. So yep. appreciate it. And we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Steven hanging out with us today, talking about the gas trains. Now winter is coming, so you need to make sure your boiler room is ready because this thing here might show up at your site. This is our new look. You can take a look at the black that we've done, a little bit of gray, got the orange popping. Look, gonna look good going down the road. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. If you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you like our videos, please share them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.